channel my name is Ruti Milano today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Nigerian puff 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 in Nigeria I used to think it was so difficult to make puff puff because my mom never really made puff, my mom never made puff puff at home you know what because it was easy to eat puff puff in Nigeria if you are in Nigeria this video is not for you because you go to parties every weekend. You go for weddings, go for birthday parties, eat pop puff. So this video is for those who live in Obodo Ibo. <laughs> Seriously, when I was in Nigeria, I didn't bother to make pop puff. I, oh, I went to parties a lot and weddings, birthdays, name it, anything because they always serve pop puff, right? And so there was no need to learn. That was why I didn't learn. If you have tried making pop puff in the past and it never came out well or it turns out looking like buns or akara, mine always looked like, like akara, some funny looking creatures. <laughs> when we moved to Brazil and I was I got pregnant, so one day I craved pop puff so bad, like I was smelling it in my dream. If I enter any room and I smell pop pop, I say, oh no, devil, this is not the time. Where am I going to find pop pop? Got a taxi, went straight to the supermarket and then found all the, all the ingredients for making pop pop. Then I got oh. home, so took my iPad and went on YouTube to type how to make Nigerian pop pop. And I got the recipes, I got the directions to make this. Then I started doing it step by step, step by step. Of course, it didn't really come out looking well, but I kept trying, I kept trying, I kept trying. But finally, I got it. That was how I perfect it. My craving never stopped, you know. So the more I tried, the more I got better. That was how I became a pro. Yeah. <laughs> there are people out there who've been trying to make this pop up, especially on my Snapchat. People say they never make it this perfect. Don't worry. Keep trying. Try your best. Keep trying. Do like five, six times. If you do more than ten times and you don't make it, ne, la boyad. Close up and go home. End of discussion. Just keep buying outside. Keep buying on the roadside. Don't worry. I think this video might help you perfect your pop pop techniques. Uh, Unless you want to organize and pay my flight and come, let me come to your house and teach you. It's okay, just pay my flight and pay me some, you know, dollars, euro, pounds, naira. Let's go straight to business. Akwea, in it. See you guys. And if you love this video, tell me what you think. And if you try your own puff puff, please tell me about it. I want to know. Thank you, but never give up. Keep trying, like I said, never give up. Welcome to my kitchen, everyone. Now let's get started. You need a bowl, flour, yeast, sugar, oil, nutmeg, and salt. Some people mix their salt, sugar, water, and yeast aside for five minutes, but I don't. What I do is I pour everything I've mentioned earlier in a bowl and then gradually mix them together with my hands. Add lukewarm water in small quantities and mix everything by hand till you have a good blend of all the ingredients. Keep mixing till the batter is smooth but not too watery and the mix should be thicker than a pancake batter. Cover the bowl with aluminium foil and make sure it's airtight by pressing the edges of the bowl. But for this video, I decided to use a cloth. Mm, Cover and leave it for 45 minutes. By the way, I don't know why Nigerian women or back then, I used to see people leave their puff puff mixture for six hours or to the following day. Oh, 
Wash your hands before starting again and then gradually take off the clothes. The puff puff butter should have risen in quantity and will have some air bubbles in them as you can see. Pour some oil in a deep pot and allow to heat up. For this video I'm using a small pot because of the small quantity I'm making. Note that the oil should be at least 3 inches deep. It's not advisable to use a deep fryer for pop puff because of the netting, but if you want to use it, set the temperature to 170. The hand method of dropping the butter into the oil is kind of messy, but amazingly effective. Use your hand to mix it up again. Test to make sure the oil is hot enough by putting a drop of butter into the oil. If it is not hot enough, the butter will stay at the bottom of the pot rather than rising to the top. When the oil is hot enough, scoop some butter into the oil with your hand by pressing the butter to come out from between your thumb and index finger. This is a technique that will make your pop-off have a perfect rounded shape. Put in more scoops of the butter as much as the space in the frying pot will allow without overflowing. Fry for a few minutes until the bottom side is golden brown. Then turn the bowl over and fry for a few more minutes until the other side is golden brown and then you take it off. Use a large spoon or something like that to take it out of the oil. I usually place them on a napkin right away to soak up some of the excess oil. Yay, finally. If you desire, you can roll the finished products in a table sugar or powdered sugar to make it sweeter. Let me show you guys what the inside looks like. Yummy! That is hot. Let me blow one for you. Take this one. Thank you. You're welcome, Giselle. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You don't do. I don't hear. You're welcome, my love. Mm. Oh, this puff puff. Oh, this puff puff. Oh, this <laughs> is puff puff. Oh, this I've said it. It's puff puff. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Puff puff. Say it. Puff puff. One, two. One, two. 
Two puff puffs. Puff puff. Wow. Who is there? There's a buzzer outside. Let's go.